wanted to make a new video on another one of Answer Slice questions from my Charles Stanley study Bible. Um, don't mind the curious George um, in the background. Anyways, I'm gonna read this. Prophet Jeremiah was not a popular man. When he declared the truth God had given him that Judah would soon start 70 long years in captivity, the people threw him in prison. Yet in such dire circumstances, Jeremiah learned something profound about prayer. Jeremiah 33, 1-3 says, the, Lord, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time, while he was still shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus says the Lord who made it, the Lord who formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Prayer is a very real part of vital relationship with God. It is not for some special spiritual elite. It is for you. Three principles within these verses can transform your old notions about prayer into something fresh and new. First, God says, call to me. He wants to hear from you. His all-knowing, omnipotent heart's desire to hear your innermost thoughts and feelings. He wants to hear from you in the hard times and when life is going smoothly. In fact, your sweetest times of prayer happen when you come before him simply to praise and worship and give thanks for what he has done. Second, God says, I will answer you. Do you believe that? Perhaps you once asked God for something he did not give you, and since then you have harbored secret worries that he did not hear or did not care to answer. But God himself says to you, I will answer you. That answer may not take the form you anticipate or come when you desire, but he will respond. He may say yes, no, or wait. You may not understand the reasons behind his answer, but you can trust that they are best for you. Romans 8.28 Third, God says, I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. You have finite wisdom, finite, however you say that word, wisdom and understanding. God knows all. He knows the big picture. You see merely a tiny piece. When you ask him to guide you, he, he works to direct you as a part of his higher vision and calling. If you take that first step of calling out to him, prayer can become an important part of a dynamic relationship with the almighty God. Do it today. He waits to hear your voice. Have a good week, guys.